everybody, this is Lawrence from the Atheist Community in Milwaukee. And today we're doing a little science experiment. And it's about... Parallax! Let's get started. For those of you that don't know what parallax is, it's how we find some distances in space. For closer things, we use things like radar. For further things, we use things like Type 1A supernova or redshift. Uh, in this video, we're just going to go over parallax and explain how fucking awesome it is. We set up the demonstration with three points. The two closer to the camera are different observers, and the furthest is the object we want to know the distance of. First, we measured the base, the distance between points of observation, and we came up with a result of 9.42 feet. We'll call this side A. We then measured the two angles at which the object was being observed. The angle on the left was measured at 75 degrees. We'll call this angle B, and I'll explain that later. The angle on the right was measured at 70 degrees, and we can call that angle C. We now have one side and two angles. We now know the rest of the triangle, and we can find the distance to the object and check our answers after. Alright, so now that we know two angles and a side, we can draw a triangle, just a, a rough sketch one, and do the math. So what do we have? We have one side at 9.42 feet. We have an angle here at 75 degrees, and an angle here at 70 degrees. And then we have this garbledygook triangle. And remember we called this side A, we called this angle B, and we called this angle C. So that's important. Since this is side A, we can make the opposite angle, angle A. And same with angles B and C, we can make the opposite sides, B and C. Alright. So now, we can do the math. So law of sines looks something like this. We have A over sine A equals B over sine B, which is equal to C over sine C. So we can use either of these, and but we have to use A in this case because that's what we have. So I have 9.42 over sine, and this angle A here we can find that out by just doing 180 minus 75 minus 70. So what does that give us? Uh, 145, 35? So we know that angle A is 35 degrees. And we can set that equal to, why not, let's just say B. So we don't have B. What we do have is the sine of B. We have sine 75. So then if I take out my handy dandy calculator. All right, so we have uh, 9.42 times sine 75 equals B times sine 35. So we can do the, mul we can do the multiplying here. 9.09, which is equal to B of sine 35. Then, we can divide each side by sine 35. 15.86 equals B. So B is 15.86, and when we do the measurements, we should get 15.86 for B. And for C, we do roughly the same thing. So then C is... Fifteen point four three. So now that we know what we should get, we can actually check our answers. So now that we know what our answers should be for side B and side C, we can check our measurements. For side B, we should have gotten 15.86 feet, but we measured 15.25. For side C, we should have gotten 
15.43 feet, but we measured 15.66 feet. So the numbers we should have gotten didn't exactly match up with our measurements, but that's fine, margin of error. I probably messed up while measuring an angle or measuring a side. That's just fine by me. The important part is that our numbers were incredibly close to reality, which is great for finding distances to faraway objects. I'm Lawrence from the Atheist Community in Milwaukee. Thanks for joining us.